हेलो गाइस होप यू आर ऑल ओके यू आर ऑल एंजॉइंग योर लाइफ एंड यू आर आल्सो वाचिंग अल्ट्रासाउंड टीचिंग वीडियो आई एम डॉक्टर अर्शद नदीम आवान एंड वर्किंग एज अ ट्रेनी रेडियोलॉजिस्ट एंड लीड सोनोग्राफर इन यूके एंड अल्ट्रासाउंड टीचिंग वीडियो दिस इज माय चैनल एंड आई एम अपलोडिंग एवरी नाउ एंड देन सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूजफुल वीडियोज फॉर यूर क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस टूडे माई टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बिलरी हेमाटोमा बिलरी हेमाटोमा इज डिफाइंड एज अ a uh, malformation of the bile duct is a malformation of the bile duct is also called as von meinberg complexes so on the ultrasound you will see and you will appreciate these particular pattern for the biliary hematoma it appears as 1 2 3 mm lesions scattered in the liver parenchyma and usually it confuse with the metastatic disease uh, biopsy is usually required for the diagnostic purpose on the ultrasound imaging you will appreciate either small cystic or uh, ecogenic lesion scattered within the liver parenchyma and um, on the doppler there might not be flow but this would be scattered in the liver parenchyma at first instance you will think that this is metastatic deposits and you might confuse with the metastatic deposit that's why biopsy is the ultimate solution as far on the ct scan is concerned on the ct non enhanced ct this will appear either as a small cystic or solid patterns they both they will show both elements on the contrast enhanced they will remain enhanced but in the portal phase either they will remain low uh, enhanced or maybe unenhanced so this is a very easy easy topic but the main problem is like it usually mimic as a metastatic deposit sometime like small abscesses so therefore it is important to go th for the biopsy for the confirmation so let's start watching these ultrasound imaging and ct scan imaging so find out how this uh, biliary hematoma will look like on these radiological imaging Uh, this is trans abdominal scan and on this trans abdominal scan you can appreciate well defined liver the liver margins and borders are clearly visible you can appreciate gall bladder uh, within the view beside this the liver parenchyma is interrupted by multiple ecogenic nodules these are evenly scattered in the right and left lobe of the liver this is actually biliary hematoma Uh, as i mentioned earlier its size uh, happens to be um, in between 1 to 3 mm and it may appear as a cystic or solid nodule sometime it may appear as a solid component having a solid solid component and sometime it may appear as a cystic uh, lesion here on this slide you can appreciate these are all well defined small tiny um, 1 to 3 mm ecogenic nodule so in the first instance you would appreciate that this may likely be metastatic deposits and in the second one it may look like there these are multiple hemangiomas which are uh, not uh, very much frequent and on the third sometime in some of the abscesses the presentation will be the same but this is actually uh, biliary hematoma these are neither metastatic deposits nor hemangioma and it's not resembling with other abscess formation as well so this type of presentation if you come across make sure there is likely possibility of biliary hematoma this is another trans abdominal scan and on this trans abdominal scan you can appreciate two well defined small ecogenic nodules indicating by these white arrows rest of the parenchyma rest of the liver parenchyma is clear borders of the livers are also smooth and clear no other uh, significant pathology can be seen in the liver parenchyma only these two ecogenic nodules can be seen this is a uh, biliary hematoma and it's uh, very much look like small hemangiomas although metastatic deposits uh, appears in uh, multiple uh, in multiple or in group fashions in this slide these two small ecogenic foci can be mimic as a hemangioma this is not hemangioma this is biliary hematoma and biliary hematoma may appear either as a single or most commonly these are multiple not single but here in this image you can appreciate only two of these biliary hematoma
this is another uh, transabdominal slide on this transabdominal slide you can appreciate uh, liver although the right and the left border of the liver uh, are not clearly visible but the liver parenchyma is slightly heterogeneous its ecotexture is not homogeneous this is why because of this presence of biliary hematomas uh, you have already seen the solid components of the biliary hematoma this is what the example for the cystic components of the biliary hematoma just look for there are multiple small sizes cyst interrupting the liver parenchyma two of them are a bit slightly enlarged this could have been a small uh, or this could have been cystic lesions beside this biliary hematomas if you pay attention to the liver parenchyma it looks slightly heterogeneous so just look for whether there is some underlying pathology of the liver or not uh, whether the uh, liver parenchyma is coarse or uh, there is any possibility of cirrhotic lesion um, just ignore that and only focus on cystic uh, components of the biliary hematoma so biliary hematoma may appear as a cystic lesions as well one another point must keep in mind that metastatic deposit may also be cystic especially in case of colonic cancer in case of uh, any cyst adenocarcinoma of the ovaries the metastatic deposit would likely be uh, cystic so that is another possibility of cystic metastatic deposits but in that case this is the biliary hematoma always go for your differential put it on your report that the differential include on the first this may be a biliary hematoma and in the second you can put that this might be a metastatic deposits this is another a very interesting slide for the biliary hematoma uh, rather i would say it's a unusual slide and one can easily bypass these uh, uh, features because these are very small and tiny here two types of the component for the biliary hematoma are visible uh, solid components and cystic components as well so if you look to the uh, liver parenchyma you can appreciate small cystic lesions and also you can appreciate small solid nodules uh, these nodules are also ecogenic on this image uh, both components for the biliary hematomas are visible uh, in first uh, stance if you have not seen these lesions before and you are scanning the patient so and you your ultrasound machine is not properly calibrated so you might think this could be any artifacts or you may ignore that thing so this is likely chance but try to focus in the liver parenchyma look for any small or any um, subtle findings and put it on your report so this is what the example of the biliary hematoma This is non-contrast axial image uh, in which the liver is visible. Uh, posterior elements of the vertebral bodies can also be seen. Aorta is also visible. So this is non-enhanced CT axial image. On this you can appreciate that liver parenchyma is interrupted by small, tiny, hypodense lesions. So these hypodense lesions are evenly distributed in the right lobe. However, in the left lobe, it is not clearly visible but on this slide this is biliary hematoma biliary hematoma as we have seen on the ultrasound images it will mimic as uh, metastatic deposits always look for the previous history if there is any history of primary or previous carcinomatous history so then definitely it will go for the biliary uh, it will go for the metastatic deposits but this is biliary hematoma presentation on the ct scan if in case of any doubt there is triphasic ct available to look for the arterial and portal and wash out and delay phase so on the basis of uh, triphasic ultrasound uh, triphasic ct you can confirm the lesion whether these are vascular or these are benign lesions this is another non-contrast CT abdomen axial image and it shows uh, in the view complete liver right and left lobe of the liver is uh, clearly visible liver parenchyma is interrupted by multiple hypodense lesions uh, portal vein is clear posterior elements posterior vertebra is clearly visible 
uh, spleen is also visible these are all the organs you can appreciate on this axial images is this axial image the only one finding pathological finding is that is liver parenchyma is interrupted by multiple tiny uh, hypodense lesions so these tiny hypodense lesions are biliary hematoma and biliary hematoma will appear on the ct images like this so if you see these couple of images time and again it will be in your back of mind and at time when you come across such presentations you will be able to produce that compare with the previous history of the patient if there is any malignancy or not if not definite malignancy there so this could have been biliary hematomas it's another uh, axial image of the non-contrast enhanced CT just for the revision and for better understanding you can see along the lateral margins of the liver there is there are hypodense lesions in the center there are also um, hypodense lesions both evenly distributed in right and left lobe so it's randomly distributed hypodense lesion within the liver parenchyma otherwise liver appear normal no other pathology can be seen so far the hepatic and um, portal vein uh, trait is concerned these are also normal within the with, with, within the view all the bony structures appear normal abdominal aorta is okay so this is what biliary hematoma on ct images on this coronal ct image you can appreciate that liver is slightly enlarged so although liver right and left lobe is clearly visible and within the view you can appreciate all the other organs uh, kidneys also available uh, is, uh, spleen can also be seen in the view so for the liver parenchyma is con concerned it is interrupted by multiple tiny hypodensity uh, hypodense lesions and these are biliary hematoma so biliary hematoma is a particular pattern you can appreciate uh, straight away when you are looking on the ultrasound are uh, you are scanning the patient for ultrasound are uh, you are looking for the ct abdomen either coronal view or axial images so this can easily be picked and uh, you won't miss these Yes, friends, this was all about biliary hematoma and this is a malformation of the bile duct and you know how it will appear on the CT scan and how the presentation would be on the ultrasound imaging and what the next would be like CT scan, uh, ultrasonography and for the confirmation you need to have the biopsy. So hopefully this will be a useful video for you and to understand and to differentiate between the metastatic deposits and the biliary hematoma with some other new useful videos we'll see each other till then take great care of yourself bye bye